What is up guys? Welcome to another video and today we have got another episode of Ask Hippo. Um, this is the series where we take your questions that you left in last week's video um, and we answer them. And that's it. It's honestly as simple as that. As long as I haven't answered the question one bazillion times or it's really repetitive or something, I will answer it. So, you, you know, if you left a good question then it's basically going to get answered. Or what's a, a, a question that made sense at least. Um, and this week we've got a whole bunch of questions. I do want to note, um, as a side note, because my computer was kind of broken yesterday, I didn't get a chance to upload Community Showcase. However, it will be up next Saturday. So if you are kind of a big fan of that series, um, I'm sorry, but you know my PC broke and I was not really, there's not there wasn't really much I could do about it because you know I just didn't have enough time and I don't have enough time today either. So yeah, uh, let's go straight into today's video, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so the first question comes from the professional drift, and he has three questions. So number one, um, Liberty Walk or R uh, or um, Rocket Bunny? I was about to say RB then. <laughs> um, so Liberty Walk or Rocket Bunny? Do you think MC5 could be better than NFS? And do you accept PSN friend requests? So um, number one, I do prefer the RB kits to the Liberty Walk kits. Um, the Liberty Walk kits are very kind of pointy and narrow, and I do like it. Don't get me wrong, I love the Liberty Walk kits, but I just prefer the Rocket Bunny ones over them. It's kind of similar to you know the whole. Xbox PlayStation thing. I don't really mind either. Um, I would say I do prefer the Xbox though. That's just my personal preference. Um, number two, do I think MC5 could be better than NFS? If it's actually announced, I think it has the potential to be a very good game, but obviously at this point, we don't even know if it's going to happen. Like, it, it, we did, we don't know anything. It could it could be a, a lie at this point. Like literally, we don't know anything. So maybe who knows? I guess the only way we're gonna have to find out is at E3. So I guess we'll see then. And number three, do I accept, accept friend requests on the PlayStation Network? I accept friend requests everywhere. Um, the Xbox One system is kind of weird with the whole kind of followers thing, but I try my best. Um, you know, I, I'll put up all my social medias and all my kind of Steam and all that kind of stuff on, on the screen now. I've got a whole bunch of them. A whole bunch of them. If, if if you add me, I there's most it's it's a, there's a very likely chance that I'll add you unless I don't just see it or I don't log into there for a while or you know whatever. Like I don't really go on my PS4 that often nowadays because I haven't got any games to play on it. But when I do go on there, I usually um I do kind of add all my friends all in one bulk. So um, don't worry if, if, if I'm there for like a couple of weeks and I haven't added it. It's probably just because I haven't been on that platform. But yeah, I, I accept everyone on everything. It's just, you know, I, I mean, it, it, if you don't get added straight away, it's, it's just because... Um, it's just because I, I don't really log into that platform. But yeah, I, I accept friend, requ friend requests everywhere. Okay, the next question is from Feely and the Dragon, and he's got three questions. So number one, who's your favourite ally in Need for Speed? And uh, number two, which NFS has the best intro? And what kind of supercars would you like to feature in NFS 2015, if any? So number one, who is my favourite ally? Ooh, there's been quite a few. You had Rachel Teller, you had uh, Mia, you had... Oh, you had loads. Absolutely loads. Um, I'd probably say Mia, to be honest. I think Mia, she was, she was a mix of everything, you know, like, it, it, I, I think she just fit in very well to the Most Wanted storyline. Um, so I'd say overall, Mia was probably my be one of the best alloys in Need for Speed. I mean, there hasn't been many, because obviously, with there's, there's not many story-driven Need for Speeds, as a whole, you know, if you look at the series as a whole, there's about 20 odd games, only like six of them actually have stories in or something like that. Um, so you've got Carbon, Most Wanted, Underground, Underground 1, The Run, um, am I missing one? I mean, Rivals doesn't count, <laughs> like, I, I mean, that's five I've got so far, so in the grand scheme of things, there isn't loads. Um, so I'd say probably Mia, Mia's probably the best. And number two, the best NFS intro movie, oh, again, another hard one, I'd probably say I'd probably say Underground 1, that had, or, or Hot Pursuit 2, Underground 1 or Hot Pursuit 2, they had pretty good intro movies. Uh, and number 3, what supercars would I like to see in NFS 2015? Um, I'd like to see, you know, a, a maybe your Aventador, your 458 Liberty Walk and kind of all that kind of stuff, you know. Because there's a lot of things you can do with, the, with those types of cars, you can put Liberty Walk kits on and that kind of jazz. Um, so like 458s, uh, Aventadors. Um, but no, no hypercars. I don't want to see any stupid hypercars. You know, 911s, that's fine. But if I see, I, I swear, if I see like a an Agera or a P1 or something like that, I'm going to get really annoyed. I don't want to see that. Like, that's just my personal opinion, obviously. I don't want to see that. Um, if you don't like the fact that I don't, I, I don't want that, then that's fine. I, don't, I honestly don't care. Uh, 
but I just really don't want, and that one, I'm sorry if I sound really arrogant there, I don't mean to, I'm just like, a lot of people get really touchy over the subject, but it's just my opinion, you know, I, I don't want supercar, like, hypercar, sorry, in the game, you know, supercars I don't mind, you know, you can have your Rentadors, you can have your SLR, or what, well, no, maybe, even, even the SLR, I think that's too high end, um, you know, I think Aventador should probably be the max level car in the game, and that's just my opinion. Um, but yeah, we'll move on to the uh, the next the next question. Okay, the next question is from LeBron15, and his question is, Fast and Furious or the Need for Speed movie? Now, I believe I've answered this before, but since we've got a lot of new subs, a lot of you guys probably won't know the answer to this. So, um, for me personally, it has to be the first Fast and Furious. That film was absolutely amazing. The Need for Speed movie was really good. I have seen both, obviously. I'm actually a really big Fast and Furious fan. Um, and Need for Speed, obviously. <laughs> like, if you guys didn't already pick up on that. Um, but I'd say the, fast, the, first, the first Fast and Furious film was better, just because it was based on illegal street racing, obviously you had the super and stuff and it was just all over a better film for my personal like tastes um so that's just my personal opinion both films are great and if you haven't seen the need for speed movie i definitely like recommend streaming that si that shit because it's really good okay the next question is from Funman costa and he has got three questions so number one have you ever played need for speed underground rivals and uh, number two would you like to have uh, the Porsche from Need Speed 2015 or the 2000 GTR from the trailer and number three What is your favorite car from the blacklist? So number one have I ever played Underground Rivals? Yes, I have I have played Underground Rivals if you guys don't know what that is that was the PSP release um, for the kind of underground Two-ish game of the time like they didn't obviously port over underground 2 So they had to make a kind of like a, a spin-off and that's what they did they made Underground Rivals and I have played that game um Number two, would I rather have the Porsche or the 2000 GTR from the trailer? I'd rather have the RWB Porsche, to be honest. I think it just appeals to me uh, more than the 2000 GTR. And number three, what is my favourite blacklist car besides the M3 GTR? Um, the M3 GTR, I probably... It, it's the most iconic, but I don't think it's my favourite. Um, if we're talking about cars that I would use in the game, definitely Vic Supra. Vic Supra was OP! Um... But then, if we're talking just about normal cars, poof, I like uh, as in favourite looking. Um, I mean, no, man, that's that's quite a hard question. Uh, I'm trying to think. I mean, um, Izzy's RX8 was quite nice. Um, Ming's Gallardo was quite nice. But I'd, I'd probably say the RX8. I think the RX8 looked the best. Uh, that's a hard question because there's a lot. There's like 14 cars to pick from. Um, but I'd say probably Izzy's RX-8. I, I mean, the RX-8, it's, it's one of my favourite tunes of all time. Um, and the livery on that car looked insane. So I'd probably say uh, Izzy's RX-8. Okay, the next question is from Silverfox6687, aka Charlie the Petrolhead. And his question is, what is your favourite small cars? For example, the original Mini. Uh, to be honest, it, I think I've answered this before. My favourite K car, um, it's the Mini. My favourite car, like, of that size, like, favourite small car, is definitely the original Mini. Um, the Japanese counterparts, I mean, the Cappuccino's okay, but I think the Mini, it just, I don't know, it's just, it's just that, that car, isn't it? It's Mr. Bean's car yes i don't know i just prefer it i think it looks cool i think there's a lot of things you can do to it as well to make it look even better so i probably said the original mini to be honest okay the next question is from drift racer john 11 and his question is what guest cars from movies and tv shows do you want to see in need for speed 2015 so what he means by this is what cars do you want to see from other games featuring need for speed 2015 now i was a bit confused about this question because really doesn't make a lot of sense, you know, like you should be able to make whatever car you want um, Now hopefully if they have a livery editor, I mean, I, I'm, I'm hoping they do. I mean, they've got it I mean, that's it's almost a standard for racing games nowadays. I'm hoping you can make whatever you want um, I don't think there should really be any specific ones. I think you should be able to make whatever you want I mean to, to have that freedom to have a livery editor is almost a standard in racing games nowadays So personally, I'm expecting that but I guess we'll have to see you know until day of launch Okay, the next question is from Rocket Bunny 41 and his question is what is your favorite GDM car and why and do you like Rocket Bunny itself? So I've actually already answered these two before but um, I'll quickly go over it just for um, you know confirmation sake uh, So that my favorite JDM car is the R32 GTR Skyline um, The BNR R32 and the reason for it being my favorite is a it looks gorgeous It just looks perfect for me. It, it just suits 
all of my aesthetic needs. And I don't know, I just prefer it. I think it looks nice. Um, and then um, number two, do I like Rocket Bunny kits? Like I said earlier, I do like Rocket Bunny kits um, over Liberty War kits, especially. Um, but uh, yeah, I love I love Rocket Bunny kits. They look really nice. Yeah. Okay. The next question is from Jao, and his question is, what is your favorite underrated JDM car? So basically, what is the most underrated JDM car of all time? So I think I've answered this before as well. Actually, there's been a lot of questions which I've already answered. Um, phew, most underrated car. This is hard. This is a hard question because there's not, like, there's not, oh god, I've just turned my Xbox on, no! Uh, <laughs> sorry about that, I'm not sure if you, if you even heard that. And um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of JDM cars out there, which, you know, are, then there's not really one underrated car. If I had to pick one, I'd probably say the 240Z. Um, I think that car's really, really unique. And a lot, I, I, I think a lot of people look over it when they think about JDM cars and Japanese cars and imports. They kind of look over the 240. The 240Z is a really nice car. Um, so I think that's probably one of them. I think it just, every, everything surrounding that car is really nice and I think it's really underrated actually. Um, so I'm not, heard, I'm not sure if you literally just heard that. Um, but you know my Xbox 360 tray just opened. I went to go close the window, came back, and I've literally just tread on my 360. So it's broken, which really has put a bit of a downer on my day. So no carbon let's play till I get that sorted. But um, that's actually really disappointing. I thought I'd just pop that in because I'm probably going to tell you guys at some point anyway. Um, yeah, my my 360 is broken. However, we still have one question to answer, and it's from Neelix Gaming, and his question is, um, well, his questions are, should I say, um, PSP or Nintendo DS, Hot Wheels or Matchbox, and if you could own a car and company, which one would you own? So number one, um, PSP all day long, that shit was insane. Number two, Hot Wheels, and number three, I would own Volkswagen, because they own every other company known to man. And on that sombre note, it's time to end today's video. That's actually really upsetting. I've managed to break my 360 today. Um, but I guess, you know, the world goes on. So uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Um, all my social medias down in the description below if you want to go and follow. And yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next one.